In this list, I will cover Egyptian daily life. What was Egyptian society like, and how is it different from how we live today? Although Egyptians were a civilization more than 2,000 years ago, they had a highly advanced social structure with many specialized jobs. In this video, I will talk about the Egyptian social pyramid. I will focus on five distinct social classes, including government officials, priests, scribes, artisans, and peasants, which were the social classes all beneath the pharaoh. The first social class on this list are government officials. Below the pharaoh in the social pyramid of Egyptian society were the government officials who assisted the leader in a variety of ways. Usually the government officials were related to the pharaoh or were closely trusted advisors. The most important government official was the vizier. He was second to the pharaoh in power. He served as a kind of chief judge and advisor. Other important officials were the chief treasurer and the general of the armies. The next level in Egyptian social structure were the priests who performed religious roles along with some healing. Priests were powerful and highly respected in Egypt. Women were allowed to be priestesses in Egypt and regarded as equal to male priests. Egyptians believed that the Egyptian god was housed in the temple in a holy room called a sanctuary. In fact, Egyptians believed in many different gods. They had a polytheistic religious system. Only a priest who was purified could enter the sanctuary. Priests also oversaw the burial and embalming of the dead. This process produced a mummy because Egyptians believed in the afterlife and that the body must be preserved so that the body remained with the dead spirit. The third level in the Egyptian social structure, which was also a highly respected job, were the scribes. Only men could be scribes, and this was one of the only ways in Egyptian society that one could rise above his family's social status. Boys started around the age of five learning hieroglyphics, and it took more than 12 years to master them. Scribes wrote on papyrus that was a type of paper made from the papyrus plant. Scribes recorded the supply of grain and even the results of the census, which reported the size of the population. Fourth on the list are artisans. Below scribes on the Egyptian social pyramid was this class. Artisans were not as respected as the higher classes, but the ones who could create beautiful masterpieces were given some more credit. Artisans were skilled laborers that made things in Egyptian society. For example, some artisans made beautiful jewelry out of the gold and precious stones that were in the mines. Stone carvers were some of the most skilled workers in the artisan's social order. Another word for stone carver is a mason. They are respected for their monuments, tombs, and temples that dot the Egyptian lands. Last on the list are peasants. Peasants were the most abundant social class in Egyptian society and were the lowest class. Most peasants were considered unskilled workers. They supplied the food and built Egyptian monuments such as the pyramid. Life revolved around the seasons of the Nile. These included the flood season, the planting season, and the harvest season. A peasant's diet was simple and consisted of things like lentils, peas, and bread. Harvesting grain was the most important function of peasants, and they did this with the help of tools like the plow and the sickle. So in review of this week's peppy list, below the pharaoh we had five social classes, government officials, priests, scribes, artisans, and peasants. I hope you like this list. Please show your support by subscribing.